Hello, my name is Diego Fernando Miranda Tosta and my number code is 23049. Uh, I have uh, 19 years old. I am from Siwatepeque, of the department of Comayagua. Siwatepeque is a very fresh city, so I like the cold places. Uh, my hobby is to play sports and my favorite sport is soccer. I love soccer because all my family play soccer and also in Honduras it's a, it's a sport that is commonly and you can go visit any place, any city, any town and you will see a soccer field because it's very famous here in Honduras. Um, as I mentioned, I live in Honduras and I decided to study in Zamorano because Zamorano is a university that have a good preparation of its students. So I like the part of discipline that it's, um, uh, Zamorano has with its students. So it's very important to be uh, having present this in our lives. Also because I love agriculture, I since I was a little child, I love to be, uh, for example, with the flowers to seed some plants or to be with the corn fields or the cows of my grandfather farm so i really like it i really like it and i like the field all the camps and all so it's my passion so my dream is to be a professional agriculture okay we're gonna talk about some summaries of the reading that we have been studying in class and the first summary uh, that i will explain is about the carbon footprint. Maybe we already have listened about carbon footprint, but we, in many times, we don't have a, the real concept that carbon footprint wants to show us. For example, the amount of greenhouses that are in our uh, planet that is really, really incredible, and also that is really uh, dangerous for our human life. Also, it's very important to mention that the responsible of all these um, elevated greenhouse emissions or carbon dioxide emissions are humans. In nature, it's commonly, for example, plants or, for example, animals or species, they develop carbon dioxide but not in the amount because we are a generation of industrial necessities so that's why the humans are uh, making big effects negative effects on this uh, topic and also it's very important that we can provide a solution about it also um, one of the main the main points to mention is the burning fossil fuels is really dramatic how it affects the global warming so we need to be really really um, uh, concentrating in this topic next we have another reading such as plugging into the sun this is mainly about talk about uh, for example how countries such as germany have implemented solar solutions but maybe you will ask how it can uh, help us in that way. For example, as we know, the solar energy is really, really common nowadays. We can see solar panel in many places, but in Germany, they have adopted as a style of production style in a way, in an industrial way. So it's really important that we can identify all these methods and we can apply it in our country. So, for example, other countries such as the United States of America have developed a good management of all this uh, perspective. Uh, as I mentioned, we have nice models such as Germany in the uh, continent of Europe. And it's really important to know about this so we can be a more clean in the uh, talking about the electrical production uh, so only imagine a house how many economic uh, savings we can be having so we can be saving some important money i would talk now some vocabulary that we have been learning during the class 
and I like some words such as manufacture. Manufacturing means to produce, to create, to work. So we can transform it a primary material to a concrete material. So for example, a sentence I can say, a, my dream is to manufacture a soccer shoes, okay? I will grab my materials and I will work it with industrial machines and all that and I will have a product, final product. Also, I will talk about a deadline. Deadline we commonly we can find it in our homeworks. For example, the teacher always says, this homework have a deadline of 24 hours. So basically this means, also I want to talk about ingenious. Ingenious, I like this word because it's a word like, wants to tell us to be more creative. Or say we can implant more solutions, we can have to be more wise, to have more uh, answers to many alternatives, or to be more um, quickly in the way we talk or to create solutions. So I like ingenious and I can say my little brother is really ingenious. He always have a solution for all. Uh, I would talk about also of renewable. I like this renewable, uh, this word because it's a word that is in these years and this last year with all the global warming and all this problem of, about nature, it's sounding in every place, in every place because it's a word that companies, that universities are applying to our society so we can have a more creative mind and also to be more conscious about our actions. So I can say the use of renewable renewable energy can help us to be a more green generation and to help earth planet earth our home earth so i like these vocabulary words and i don't know it in some days but thanks to this target vocabulary i have been learning new words also i want to talk about in the grammatic area in the grammatic area we have for example the using of pie maybe you will think about the pie or we can eat oh, it's really delicious but no, in the grammatic area, pi means, for example, the P is for point, the E is for illustration, and the E is for explanation. So, point, basically point is the main idea, the main idea of our topic. The illustration is the way of we can mention a fact or example about it. And explanation, as we know, a is to support illustration and also to support the point basically this means so now we can have like a basic structure so we can apply these things to our grammatic homeworks or any other uh, work that we need to do that needs to be in a professional way uh, i would talk about because in the class we have some homeworks about to talk renewable energy i like renewable energy because it's something really important for nowadays to humans if we want to live more years in earth and i decided to talk about solar energy why i decided to talk about solar energy because in samorano they work with solar energy for example the, the module uh, renewable energies also explain us and have a professional in a big a, a land that have solar panels and in this module they explain us how we can produce energy from the sun in a freely way so first of all we need to have a solar panel the solar panel have little cells these little cells are in charge to capture all that little particles that the sun develops to our planet earth and we capture those these um, particles it is transformed in electrical energy so it's really nice to analyze this and also to know that it's not only to install a panel and oh it's reflecting sun on it no we need to know about the latitude that we're located because it needs to be in the order of the suns the solar rays are developed through planet earth so i invite you you can see more videos about it it's really interesting and also that would help us as human society thanks i i, I like it you uh, i trust you like the video and also 
the explanation. Have a great night.